Okay, so let's continue with our next video in the AWS series. And in this video, we will see uh, the topic S3 course, right? So if you go to the official AWS documentation, so under the Amazon S3, so we have the article called using course uh, that is cross origin resource sharing. So what exactly it is, and we will see in practical. So if you read the official documentation, course means cross origin cross origin resource sharing so some resource uh, is being shared and the origin are different defines a way for client web application that are loaded in one domain to interact with resources in a different so if you read this uh, line maybe you will not able to get this but let's try to understand in a simple way so let's let's pause um you have one bucket just consider one bucket right and in that one bucket, you hosted your static website, static website with some page index.html, right? And then, and you make this bucket as a public because if you want to access this uh, page using browser, so you need to make this bucket as a public and along with that, it's object as a public, right? So using your web browser, uh, so you trying to access your website, that is what is whatever your bucket name and uh, then slash index.html right so you are getting that and you you return your website page right right but let's suppose so which is working fine right so in this case uh who is hosting my index.html website right so who who is hosting so host is my uh like uh, uh this s3 bucket right so who is hosting my index.html this is my index.html right now let's suppose we have two S3 buckets. One is this S3 bucket and one is the another S3 bucket, right? The first S3 bucket still remains same. It holds the index.html and it is public. It is static website enabled. Uh, we just like one check marks. We will enable it, right? And now when it tried to load some and we just modify this index.html. So instead of just uh, it is trying to load some images or maybe some another HTML page, but that images or that HTML page doesn't reside in S3 bucket. It resides in some another S3 bucket. So if it resides in same S3 bucket, when it try to load the images or some pages, we will give uh, just the location of that, right? But if it is some another bucket, we have to give the location of that uh, bucket, right? So now let's suppose we modified our index.html page and we say, okay, get the images from another bucket because I have another bucket where the assets are there or maybe some another HTML page are there. Uh, some content is being loaded into this index.html page, right? So now the web browser is trying to access this website. Right, so it's trying to get get index.html host is still because the user is trying to access the website from the index.html page, right? But within the index.html page, they are trying to access some another pages, HTML pages, or maybe some images, right? So within that HTML page, some other request is getting triggered, get triggered, maybe some extra page.html or maybe some images. So for those extra page or those images, who is the host? Host is this my second S3 bucket, All right? But who is the origin? Who is requesting? Is my browser is requesting? No, this S3 bucket is requesting, All right? So who is the origin? Origin is this one, All right? So it means cross origin. Cross origin is like my, my uh, content is here. So this bucket is not requesting, but some another bucket is requesting. So that is the cross origin resource sharing. So how we can do that? So let's try to see in like, you maybe have some basic idea what we are trying to achieve is, but let's try to do in practical. So we have to create a one bucket. So let's create a one bucket. Demo uh, S3 course one. Right, so we have created one bucket, just create that bucket without doing any changes. Right, 
and now within this bucket we are going to host our one website so let's upload it so upload the pages so let me show you the content and let me just comment this All right so i have very simple content uh, how it's look like let me show you it looks like just we will get some heading and we will display some image All right that's it and that image is going to reside within the same bucket just as an example so let's upload the file so index and flag right okay so now upload it okay so it has been uploaded right now if i have to make this website as a static website so i have to go to the properties tab and i have to scroll down and there is an option called static website hosting currently it is disabled so i have to enable it i have enabled it and it says okay what is your uh, home page index.html and just save the changes it give me one url all right if i try to access this url all right so let's try to access this url and i am getting 403 forbidden error why because if i go to the permissions my my bucket is not public so let's public the bucket so i have let's confirm so now the bucket is public but if still i try to access it it's still forbidden why because my bucket is public but the content within the bucket is not public so i have to attach the bucket policy so click on edit go to the policy generator select the type of the policy s3 bucket policy uh principal star action we need to get the object so get object get object so get object and the arn so copy the bucket arn here add statement generate policy copy it close it this we already covered in one of the uh, video which is very very and we have give you star because we have to want to give the access whatever inside the bucket not to the bucket all right so save changes all right and now if i try to access it you could see now my content has been loaded all right okay so which is fine our website has been hosted which is nothing nothing related to the course nothing nothing like that right we just normally hosted our uh, one website and everything exists uh, here only but let's suppose within that website we try to load one more uh, page and that page says uh, let me show you that page says that extra page has been successfully loaded it's just a normal content so just a normal content let me show you so just a normal content the extra page has been loaded right and if i go to the index.html i created a one div tag and within that div tag i want to load that page right so you can load that page using various methods using jquery or using script whatever the method like just copy paste this code right all right so if i run this so one second i have to change this extra page what is html you could see and now i am seeing the extra content the extra page has been successfully loaded and this content is coming from some another html page right so i modified this index.html and there is a one more extra extra page.html so still i am uploading in the same bucket so add files up i am going to overwrite index.html and i am going to add the extra page so upload it upload successful let's try to refresh it so everything works fine so currently what is happening so everything is hosted in my s3 bucket either the image is or either doesn't matter either 10 uh, html pages and 
we are trying to access from the same bucket so there is no crossover origin resource sharing so this bucket is not sharing any resources so host is this origin is this like every everything is this right so we are getting that right but let's suppose if we try to create a, another bucket let's create another bucket demo s3 course 2 and again like okay let's create a uh, bucket without doing any changes all right and now what we are going to do is i am going to upload the extra page in this second bucket extra page dot html upload it all right and now i need to make it static website enabled so go to the properties just make it enabled and index.html so just give index.html even though we don't have the index.html but this is the mandatory field so but it's fine save changes similarly go to the permissions and we will give the public access to the bucket confirm and then we will add, add the bucket policy go to the policy generator s3 allow get action get object so go to the g get object get object and let's copy the arn copy the arn add statement generate policy copy the policy paste it and give slash star and save the changes and so we we have hosted uh, our another uh, website you can say and if i go to the properties and if i try to access this another website so nothing is there because index.html is not there but i have extra page extra page dot html hopefully this will get loaded yeah so this get load, loaded right extra page dot html right now this is the same content which we are seeing here extra page has been loaded right so what i want is like why should i place the contents at two places so what i can do is from my first s3 bucket i am going to remove this extra page html because i have now like put this extra page into some another s3 bucket so let me delete it So if I'm going to delete it, what is going to be happen? If I refresh it, uh, 404 not found because anyhow, like we have deleted that page, right? So we have to change our code. So currently we are uh, getting that page uh, from the current bucket only, but now we have to access that page from the website. So let's update that. So I just hosted the URL, right? So that's the data. And now I am going to upload the index.html. Upload it. So I have uploaded the index.html. So ideally it should work, right? So earlier uh, I am seeing 404 not found because, uh, because I, I was trying to access the extra page.html from the location that is the from same bucket. That's why within the same bucket, it doesn't exist. But now I give the location of the different bucket. It should access, right? So if I hit enter, I could not see anything here. And let's try to inspect the page. All right. And if I go here, console, I am seeing some error. The error is it has been blocked by see it says access to fetch this from origin i am trying to fetch uh, course 2.s3 from origin this basically i am trying to access some another bucket page from some another bucket and it's it says it has been blocked by course policy cross origin 
रिसोर्स शेयरिंग एक्सेस कंट्रोल अला ओरिजिन फैटर हैज प्रेजेंट ऑन दिस सो सो नो सो इस इट हैज बीन बेसिकली ब्लॉक्ड राइट सो व्हाट शुड आई डू बिकॉज आई वांट टू लोड दैट केस राइट सो इट मींस ऑन द सेकंड बकेट बिकॉज सेकंड बकेट इज नॉट अलाउइंग फ्रॉम अलाउइंग द रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम एनी अदर बकेट सो आई विल गो टू द सेकंड बकेट गो टू द सेकंड बकेट If I go to the properties, not to the property, go to the permissions. And if you scroll down, you could see we have the option called Coros Origin Resource Sharing. So which is a JSON document we are going to edit it. So edit it. All right. And if you go here and you configuring Coros Origin Resource Sharing using S3 console and elements of core sharing. and here and we have like uh, some json let's copy copy it and let's paste it and what are the allow method which we want to do so get only because we want to get that we don't want post and delete allowed origin what is the origin origin is my first bucket what is my first bucket this is my first bucket right but without slash at the end exposed uh, headers uh, we can ignore that all right and now let's save it so now on the second bucket we allow the uh, origin from this bucket so basically we allow the course and now if you try to load the first page again you could see i'm not getting any error now it successfully loaded my page or content from my second bucket that is the s3 bucket the first two they at that everyone has their own country and the image is just like uh, this two content hosted in my first bucket and that content the extra page has been successfully loaded is hosted in my another bucket but earlier when i try to load it because the request is going to the second bucket and the second bucket says this is my content right so if if my bucket trying to access my content then i can successfully load it which it's it it is already loading right which is already loading but if some some another origin some another origin is trying to access the request so the both origin is like uh, basically first bucket so if some another origin trying to access uh, it i will block it so i but we want to access that so so they said okay if you want to access that then you have to enable it so course configuration it and it defines a way for client web application that are loaded in one domain interact with the resources in different domain Now, right so domain basically means like uh, the whole url is called as a domain all right so we have like uh, covered this so that is the uh, now if you are trying to read this hopefully you will trying to understand what is like course and what exactly it's trying to uh, say so that's it and uh, that's the end of the video and thank you